The U.S. Department of State, in partnership with the Nigerian government, has hosted a two-day Global Inclusivity and Artificial Intelligence Africa Conference. The event was aimed at encouraging African countries not, to yet, not yet leveraging AI technology to start maximizing its use in order to achieve more globally oriented results. Our correspondent Paul George was there and brought back this report. These times call for unprecedented commitment from leaders all over the world, not just in Nigeria, to find efficient and effective solutions to alleviate the pains being experienced by all of us. The hall is packed with tech policy experts, business leaders, civil society representatives, and academics, all eager to capitalize on the potential of new technologies. In a pre-recorded message, U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Kurt Campbell assures the audience that the Biden administration is prepared to offer Africa the support it needs to advance the continent. Building an AI-ready institutional and regulatory environment, we can help AI work for Africa. AI can also play a significant role in achieving the sustainable development goals in Africa. Guidelines must be established for the safe, secure, and trustworthy development and deployment of AI technologies that advance our shared values and promote fairness, transparency, and accountability. The Minister of Communication, Innovation, and Digital Economy Boson Tijani said the government's initiative aligns with President Bola Tinubu's commitment to attract investors, create more jobs, and improve the lives of the people. We have the understanding that AI can help us uh, accelerate productivity across our key sectors, which is important. We all talk about food security for cha uh, challenge, for instance. We want to see our farmers. Uh, cultivating their lands uh, in more, much more strategic manner. The fund from Google is going to start first by funding 10 innovative ideas uh, to build uh, the uh, technology solutions that they will put into use uh, artificial intelligence to help in critical sectors in the country. Corroborating Mr. Campbell, Acting Special Envoy for Critical Emerging Technology, U.S. Department of State, Dr. Seth Center added that AI has come to stay. While Senator Shoaib Afolabi Salisu, representing Ogun Central Senatorial District, and the Chairman, Senate Committee on Information Communication Technology and Cybersecurity, emphasized that AI will help Nigeria to unlock our potential, reduce crime, and boost our economy. We take this seriously at home and abroad. Within the United States, the Biden administration has been determined, as it's developed its AI governance infrastructure, to make sure that we take into account uh, the need to diversify access to AI, diversify uh, applications, compute infrastructure. And as we take that conversation abroad and we work with our partners in the private sector and governments, we want to make sure that they're taking the needs and the data concerns and the access concerns and the cost concerns that all of us have to make sure that all of us have an equitable uh, opportunity. Small and medium scale enterprises who could ordinarily not afford certain types of skills internally, AI will come to their rescue. They can use AI for their customer services, they can use AI to train uh, uh, their staff. As we deploy those technology, we are deploying those technology bearing in mind that as Nigeria, something is peculiar to Nigeria in, in terms of our culture, in terms of our norms, and particularly our national interest. The GIAA conference convened over 300 stakeholders, including senior officials from the United States and across Africa, private sector executives, civil society members, and academia. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.